Okay, I'm going to do a quick uh, flying PSA for the GATS fuel sampler. Bought this from Sporties Pilot Shop and just shipped it to me. And two things. One, I have a Cessna, so I need to have the uh, fuel drain and spigot, if you will, faced up. And I wanted to open this up and see how it worked. So I tried to open it up. And one thing I found is that this plastic is really a lot weaker than I thought it would be. So I started trying to open it and I could tell that very quickly I, I could potentially crush this. And I, at one point I actually did dimple this a little bit. And that made me nervous that so I'm going to break my $20 or whatever this thing costs. I don't remember, $30 filter uh, drain. So, just uh, my little PSA is, I took your standard one each ladies hair dryer and heated it up, threw it on high, did something like this. Making a point not to heat up the cheap plastic here, but rather just warm up the uh, this kind of nylon grade plastic that they have on top. I'm not an expert, I don't know what type of plastic this actually is. Did this for about 60 seconds. And afterwards, put a nice, consistent, solid pressure on it, and it finally started to move, and I was able to undo it. So then it uh, talks about moving this thing. Was, when I looked at this closely, it, it looked like it wasn't uh, didn't need to come out there, so kind of pushed from behind. And you can see it has a couple little nubs. There's a detent. I don't know if you can see that through the... My phone camera is pretty, pretty weak, but uh, there you go. So just a heads up, don't break your little wimpy bottle here. It'd be nice if that was a little tougher. Just go ahead and, and heat up this portion of it for 60 seconds and you're good to go. Anyway, I know some people will laugh at this video for being overkill for something simple as that, but someone might look it up on YouTube. Thanks. Yep. Yeah.